welcome back to the Cryptosaurus for another crypto update. So before we go into some analysis, which we will do sentiment analysis as we did last time, just a little update and a review of our last video. Before that, I just want to mention a few things about the time frames this channel is all about. Uh, we will do analysis on various charts and different kinds of analysis, but never less than a daily chart. Our focus here is uh, long term, so we will do monthly analysis, we will do analysis on a weekly charts, analysis on a daily charts, but never an hourly chart, a six hourly, four hourly, five minutes, I don't know, 50 minutes, one minute, because short term analysis uh, doesn't concern me and uh, I don't find it uh, very valuable for you and for me. Because uh, in the short term you can uh, have a heart attack if you follow the charts. Let's put it that way. Uh, so if you want to be on this long journey and do a long term analysis, stay tuned. Good things are coming your way. On the opening of this video let's just review very fast the market cap which is 263 billion. Last video we were above 270. But you know that uh, yesterday, today, uh, we're having a little crash. I would just call it a little crash, not a big crash. Volume is 60 billion, which is 16% uh, more than yesterday. But take into consideration that we fall to the level where people are buying. So expect a volume to rise from here. Dominance about 65%. Quick glance on our exchanges that are carrying those volumes. Just as the uh, in, in our last video, the Binance, Huobi Global, and OKX are carrying the most of the volume in crypto space, but it has a significant rise from our last video. Last time, for example, the Binance had a five billion dollars today it's almost seven billion a 43 percent surge so the volume on that exchanges are rising and rising and rises will be global almost seven billion of course uh, five billion in our last video and okx 32 percent almost three billion and seven hundred million trading volume so the trading is definitely surging and surging and surging the money is pouring in the crypto or in this case some money is going on the sidelines because we have a, a clearly a short term downtrend which we will see why in our next slide so please let me present you on the crypto bubbles the crypto space drawn in planets. As you can see, the two biggest planets are Bitcoin and Tether. Why is that? Because those planets are arranged by the trading volume, not by the market cap. We arrange it to see which planet has the more volume. Notice something. Our biggest planet is not Bitcoin, but almost, it's Tether. And why is that? As they are arranged by the training volume in the last 24 hours, the most of the money is in Tether, not in Bitcoin. This may surprise you, right? Because I interpret this as the most money is waiting on the sidelines of cryptocurrencies and the money is waiting to come in on these various coins just waiting for a right time to ignite this long-awaited bull run. If you agree with me, comment in the down section and s tell me what is your view of this. Maybe it's different than mine, which I'll gladly accept. 
let's take a look at our top 10 coins as you can see we are mainly in the red because yesterday we had a hit on the top coins and on the entire market cap but it's not nothing uh, significant let's move to our sentiment analysis as you can see we are at the 38 and the fear has come to our sentiment uh, last week we were neutral as you will remember about 53 and last month we had fear 41 just like today why is that because as you recall in our last video we said that we are consolidating this channel of fear and uh, greed about the neutral positions this is our current status let's draw out as we said at the top we had 56 at the bottom 39 to 40 we are at the 38 now we almost breached it and you can argue that Toby already did breach it but you must take into account that the support and the resistance are not straight lines those are areas and a little throwback from that areas are possible this could be as well as a bear trap to capture the bears at support although we breached 39 we are at 38 but those area would be breached in my opinion if we continue going lower 37 to 35 and start getting into the fearful area that we point out in our last video so nothing to fear about but we can state that we are now at the edge of the fear of the crypto fear and uncertainty has come to the crypto space if we follow the channel this parallel channel we touch the support so we can expect the bounce to the resistance but if we break it it's invalidated and we go lower and we will stay there for some time few weeks maybe or something like that we'll see so if you like the content click like if you want to get more updates about the crypto space that we are doing on a regular basis click subscribe and also notification bell so you can get notified whenever I put up a new video until next time a new analysis the crypto soros is roaring at you bye